Alrighty, first video. What's going on? Uh, I'm Tershin, known as Colin in real life. Uh, I, oh, I haven't used this background before, so that's kind of new. It's kind of cool. Uh, <laughs> I am going to be a FNAF content creator. Bunch of stuff. So, these are most of my fan games. I also own, uh, one. Two help wanted and security breach and FNAF Sim. FNAF World too. I don't know why that's in. Oh yeah, because anyway. Um I am gonna play a bunch of horror games. I also genuinely use itch. I have a bunch of cool games. Uh, I just need a bunch of recommendations, if you guys don't mind. Uh, yeah, pretty much it. Okay, so I think to begin with, I'll play Rewritten, because it's actually one of my favorite uh, fan games I have. Uh, <laughs> it's really good. Oh, wait, I'm not logged in to the right system. So, turns out I wasn't logged into the right stuff now. But, uh, I played one night on this. I think I died. I don't remember. But I think I'm just gonna do a few nights on this if I can. Really realistic of how it's gonna be scary. Still better on my phone. Hello, hello. Uh, I wanted to leave a set of pre recorded messages for you to help you get settled in on your first few nights. Uh, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. You'll do just fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know? Um, <clears throat> Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as yeah. soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned, bleached, and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs all this time and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and you need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So, just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free-roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Huh. They used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too, but then there was the Yo, bite of yeah. 87. Yeah. Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night guard here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, well, they're pretty technologically advanced. And yeah, if they see you after hours, they probably won't recognize you as a person. Yeah. Instead, they might see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, yeah. since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, 
Now that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves didn't have mechanical pieces to lock the endoskeleton into place. So you could imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Um, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth when they pop out of the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow, check those cameras, and uh, remember to close those doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. All right, good night. It's late at night. So, yeah, it's 12. Okay. Say right there. Move it up or down. Okay. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two, uh, congrats. I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk just to make sure everyone's in their proper place. You know, uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. I heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark though, so uh, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? I, I also wanted to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. 
There are blind spots in your camera views, and those blind spots happen to be right outside of your doors. So if you can't find something, or someone, on your cameras, be sure to check the door lights. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. I'm not implying that. And uh, if one of them gets close to your office, I know it can be startling. They're a lot bigger than a lot of people think. But something that helps me calm down is checking the lights after they leave. I guess just proving to yourself that it's no big deal helps sometimes. Also, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he only really moves when you aren't looking at him on camera. I guess he doesn't like being watched. You could probably trick him into thinking that you're still watching him if you keep his camera selected before closing the monitor. I don't know. Anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Please be five.
anyways, I think that about wraps it up for this episode. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. And if there's any more FNAF fan games you want me to look at, uh, just write me a comment about it, and I'll be sure to be sure to write back to you. Uh, have a great day.